Hey guys, Melinda Haynes, license number 102308. So client resistance, we've all faced it, whether we knew it or not, you know, as, as therapists, we've all experienced this, okay? We've got the client who no shows at the last minute. We've got the client who constantly forgets, you know, about our therapy sessions, um, doesn't do homework that's assigned, um, doesn't participate in sessions, just kind of sits there and maybe eh, eh, doesn't, you know, really want to engage, or perhaps talks about things that aren't really clinically relevant. Um, they might bring up something that's very significant, but they do it at like the last, you know, three and a half minutes left, left of the session. You know, by the way, this horrible thing happened to me and this is what I want to work on. And you're like, wow, where were you for the last, you know, 47 minutes? So those kinds of things can happen. That is typically known as resistance. Now, I have heard a therapist say something like um, there is no, um, res there, there are no resistant clients. There are only ineffective therapists. Now, I, I get what they're trying to say that, you know, we need to work with resistance. We need to make sure that, you know, as therapists, we're doing our job to address resistance. But here's the thing. Resistance is actually, you know, that person just not being ready or willing at that time. And we can't necessarily force them. We can use techniques and, you know, bring it up in session. Like, hey, I have noticed that you've, you know, no-showed or last minute canceled at the last, you know, three sessions. Let's talk about that. You know, is that something are you, you know, avoiding something is it you know some kind of challenge to the person to let them have the opportunity to address the reason why they're kind of stalling or dragging their feet on going through further in their process but we can't put it all on ourselves as therapists we can't take ownership of it and go oh this is this is my uh, progress and my client needs to progress on this time frame because if they don't then I'm a bad therapist we can't do that we have to acknowledge the fact that you know what this person may not be ready to go there yet and their resistance is actually meaning we have work to do in another area you know for example creating safety and trust and building rapport between client and therapist and so once we get that done once we work on those other issues then that person that magically the the resistance goes away and they're they're ready then to work on the next issue and then you're getting more into that deep you know therapy work that happens in that middle section that meaty section of therapy so what do you guys think? Do you think that there is such a thing as resistance? Do you think that it's only the therapist's responsibility or should we honor the client in their process and in their journey? What do you guys think as therapists and as clients or as just you know general, uh, generically observing the therapeutic situation? What do you think about that? So I appreciate you guys. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and put your comments below. Appreciate you guys. Thank you.